song to come in on. Thank you so much for your company this morning. She describes herself as a sleep deprived ranty mum of two who survives on coffee and wine. She became a social media sensation almost overnight and is now also a published and very popular author as well as the editor of the spin-off Parents and a much loved mummy blogger as well. Emily Wrights is back with her latest hilarious book. It's a bedtime yet. This is it right here. And it is really great to have you here. Welcome, Emily. Thank you for having me. Do you me. like being called a mummy blogger, or is that something that makes you kind of go, ooh? Uh, oh, or do you prefer a venti parent who gets through on <laughs> coffee and wine? Yeah, <laughs> that's that'll what, do. That's what we like the most. Um, so for yeah. those, tell us a little bit about you first. For those who maybe aren't aware of you, um, you know, tell us about that first blog post and what happened. Well, I had a um, three-week-old baby and another slightly bigger baby and. Um, I just, they were kind of tag teaming during the night and I was getting no sleep and um, so I just kind of wrote something down on my phone that I thought my friends would find funny and I don't know what happened. It was the first thing I wrote and overnight it just kind of well, it struck took a off. chord. Because yeah. like more than a million people within that first day had seen yeah. it, which is phenomenal. Crazy. What was your life like before you were doing all of this? Oh, it was a very boring mum life <laughs> like <laughs> nothing exciting right you know and um, so it has been just a complete whirlwind mm. and just we feel the whole family things have changed it's pretty exciting so and, how things yeah. changed well just you know getting recognized I guess and getting um it wasn't until the first book came out that I ever allowed a photo of myself out there because wow. I'm quite a you know <laughs> Shy. Yeah, and so um, it's just exciting, you know, it just feels like something that would happen to somebody else and then you're like, oh, this is my life now. No, but your material's so relatable and I think that's why people fall in love with you because you just say it like it oh, is. Thank Which you. brings us to this book here, Is It Bedtime <laughs> Yet? And not only you, but your friends. Yeah. It's written by Emily Wrights and friends. Who are your friends? Well, they're all amazing parents from around New Zealand. Um, the first book um, was just my writing, and um, so very soon after the first book was published, um, Penguin said, how about another book? <laughs> and I thought, um, I really wanted to show the diversity of stories around parenting because I think when we share our stories we can connect with each other so I didn't want it to just be my voice mm. all the time and there are just so many amazing writers in New Zealand and lots of these mums um, and the few dads have written um, for this they just have no idea how incredibly talented they are they would send me pieces and um, say oh I'm not a writer and then you would read it like crying with laughter or because your heart's breaking and I was like I need to get this out there. Oh, and, so how did yeah. you choose the people and what sort of stories you cover? Oh it was so hard to choose I could have had 10 books <laughs> um, <laughs> Penguin wouldn't let me <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I I kind of had quite a few that I knew I really wanted to go in there because they were the ones that had stayed with me for years and years. Some of these were, I first commissioned them like right at the beginning of my writing journey. Um, so I kept the ones in there that I thought really stayed with me. And I wanted to cover lots of things. I wanted the really funny stuff and the sort of joke advice like surviving school holidays and daylight saving. How do you do that, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With lots of wine. Oh, right. <laughs> Got it. I think I um, that one then. Yeah. And, um, but I also wanted to cover the things we don't really talk about, like birth trauma and um, anxiety and depression and mothers and um, I wanted to talk about the things that sometimes people don't feel comfortable talking about because I thought if there's a parent reading this and who reads it and says I'm not alone you know that's really all I hope for you Job know. Job done. Yeah mm. yeah. And, and I guess you know I'm not a parent so a little bit hard for me to relate but I, my observation is this you know after centuries of the world having children it seems that parents still muddle their way through it and there's no right or wrong way to do it. Exactly, exactly. And I think if there was any message to the book it's that, that right. there's no... So right. don't strive for perfection. No, no, just I always say um, chase joy, just enjoy 
you know, we're so lucky to get to be parents and um, have these incredible kids. Yeah. Just um, there's nothing. Yeah, it's so special but to you're watch also, your kids grow. You're also very strong on the because um, I agree with this too that you can love your kids, you love them dearly, but sometimes it's okay to not like them very much. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's coming. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love. I laughed out loud at the confessions of parents. I thought that was a very funny chapter. Um, but what are the other chapters that you've got? Just for people that are thinking, should I get this book? Yeah. Um. Oh, there's so much. We cover things like. Um, you know, uh, Simon Sweetman writes about deciding whether or not to have another child. He just has the one. We have um, a stay-at-home dad um, writing about what it's like being a stay-at-home dad. We have a mum writing about her, um, how her child didn't immediately um, take to reading and what that was like for her. And, you know, a lot of them seem to be about one topic, but there's a greater message around, right. you know. Um, so I've tried to cover really everything from baby stuff, like those first... Through to spirit. Facebook groups for yeah. mums. Yeah. yeah, through to the vortex of hell that is <laughs> Facebook groups that. for mothers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, not even a parent, well. but I loved it. It was very yeah, clever. Just like yeah. having your puppy, Rufus. Yeah, true. true. <laughs> so, Her baby. Yeah. Hey, Emily, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Emily's book, Is It Bedtime Yet? is available now from all good bookstores, and you can check her out online as well. Yeah, thank you so much for coming yeah. out.